You might have heard how fasting helps with loose skin because this thing called autophagy is gonna eat up the dead skin. This video is gonna talk about does autophagy reduce loose skin. Make sure you subscribe for other videos about fasting and autophagy as well. There are indeed a lot of people online swearing that fasting help them to lose their loose skin because of autophagy. At the same time, there are people who don't see any of these kinds of results. And conventional fitness advice is also thinking that it's heresy and fasting may actually cause loose skin because you're gonna lose the weight so fast. So what gives? Autophagy does recycle old cells and organelles into energy. When your skin is exposed to inflammation of some sort, such as UV radiation, pathogens, injury or some chemicals, it's going to trigger several defense mechanisms to cope with it. Autophagy gets activated in response to stressors to heal the inflammation and fight off the invasion. Defective autophagy can cause a hyperinflammatory response, release pro-inflammatory cytokines, and increase reactive oxygen species. This happens because of dysfunctional mitochondrial function, poor immune system, and inadequate levels of autophagy. Not enough autophagy is linked with many age-related diseases and decreased longevity. It prevents the clearance of broken cells and mitochondria that begin to spread inflammation and sickness. With regular autophagy, you're removing them. If you don't tap into autophagy on a regular basis consistently, then your body becomes less effective at it and it's not going to be able to remove the debris and cause self-eating. That's why for optimal skin health, you still want to activate autophagy because it's going to keep the skin healthier in the long term. Feel how soft my skin is. So, does autophagy eat up loose skin? A 2014 study in Japan found that aging fibroblasts have decreased autophagy. Fibroblasts create collagen in the skin, which causes wrinkles and loose skin. Another 2018 study from Korea found that aging fibroblasts experience a higher speed of waste production, which results in skin aging. The researchers said that autophagy plays a crucial role in counteracting the aging process of the skin by keeping the fibroblasts healthy. Autophagy may help with slowing down the aging of the skin, but it's not literally going to eat up loose skin. It can only support the process and keep the fibroblasts healthy, which maintains skin elasticity and your skin is gonna simply uh, draw back itself because it's healthier. It's inevitable that you will have some loose skin after losing a bunch of weight. However, if you lose the weight with fasting, you're gonna have more autophagy, which can help your skin adapt to the new weight quicker. Calorie restriction without autophagy and fasting will probably result in more loose skin because as we've seen from the studies that we mentioned, autophagy is central for keeping the fibroblasts healthy and alive. But it's not autophagy eating it up. Part of the reason why you get so much loose skin has to do with the skin not being that healthy. It lacks elasticity because of poor fibroblast functioning. First thing I would say that extended fasting of like three to five days may potentially help with preventing that much excess loose skin. You can't avoid it completely, but I would say that it's going to alleviate some of the side effects of loose skin. The longest fast recorded lasted for 382 days and the man who did it was said to not have a lot of loose skin afterwards. Of course, there was probably some stretched out skin, but given that he lost more than half of his starting body weight, it's still quite amazing. Exercise also promotes autophagy and fat loss. That's why you would still want to exercise whether you're fasting or not. The difference between cardio and resistance training is that one makes you lose weight, whereas the other does the same, but helps you to build lean muscle as well. If you only lose a bunch of weight, including fat, water and muscle, then you will end up with empty skin that starts to sag along. That's why I think that for overall skin health and longevity, you still want to combine both intermittent fasting and resistance training. If you want to know how to do it and add optimal nutrition for longevity as well as performance, then check out my book, Metabolic Autophagy. But other than that, thanks for watching this video. Make sure you click the like, subscribe, notification bell as well. My name is Seem. Stay autophagic, stay empowered. Feel how soft my skin is.